everyone, it's Jeanette here from Enthusiastic Gardener but today is rather a sad morning because I have come out to look around and I have discovered that I've got clematis wilt on my clematis juster as you can see here this whole side all the way down is just wilted and clematis wilt is very common fungal disease and the spores can transfer from one plant to another so you have to be careful how you treat it hence the gloves and the fungus produces black spots on the leaves and the stems which become lesions which impedes the flow of water in the vine and causes dieback. Now it was only a few days ago in the July garden tour that I was so pleased with my clematis juster. It was flowering lovely, it was looking absolutely gorgeous and then a few days later this has happened and you may remember that I said there were three stems along here originally and it happened to the one on the left which I cut back moved the middle one over now it's happened to the one on the right so the chances are it could happen to the one in the middle one way that it gets into the plant is if there are any cuts or broken stems or anything so be we need to be very careful when we remove this that we don't just tug at it because it might be attached to this good one and that would cause a break in the good one so we've got to be very careful I'm not going to treat it with any fungicides any chemicals at all because all you need to do is cut it down right at the roots at the base and take it away don't put it on your compost because you don't want it to spread in if you put it in your compost don't put it in your garden waste for collection because then you can spread it around the neighbourhood. The best thing to do is put it in your normal trash and just get it disposed of completely. You will need to wear gloves and you will need to sterilise your secateurs or scissors afterwards with some alcohol rub or something to sterilise them because it will easily spread. And I have a lot of other clematis right opposite end of the garden but it could spread so we do not want that it's not necessarily fatal because it doesn't affect the roots so it will typically survive let's take it off and we must remember to dispose of it carefully to sanitize everything after don't use your cutters on something else straight afterwards so I'm just going to go right down to the base right down here I'm going to cut it right at the bottom And as carefully as I can without disturbing the one next to it put that to one side Just really gently cut that away. So that's that one gone. Uh, the other thing that I would normally do is these little seed heads here. I would normally cut those seed heads off to encourage the plant to reflower, but I don't want to do that now because that would obviously make a cut in the plant. So if there are any of these fungus spores around, I don't want to give it any way of entering this remaining stem. So if it happens to this one, I will cut this one down to the ground as well. Obviously it's very sad. We will see what happens. It's got some lovely little buds there. I will sanitize these and not use them for anything else so we'll see what happens this happens in gardening it's not always plain sailing in the garden but i've got something nice to show you just to cheer up this video slightly my mum's been asking when am i going to see you plant up that planter it's the mosaic tile one that i did over by the garden illusion gate so i have planted that one up and also the pallet wall hanging planter 
the plants in the top of that were struggling there's very little soil there so I've taken those out and renewed it all put some nice colors in in the meantime I'm Jeanette I am the enthusiastic gardener thanks so much for joining me don't worry about your clematis because the chances are it's just this year we may have lost it and hopefully it will flush back next year take care now bye